I am Renee Diamond, uh, the elementary supervisor for Bradley County Schools. The responsibilities of the supervisor of elementary education here at Bradley County are quite lofty. Um, uh, the goal is really to make sure that every student in our elementary schools has access to a high quality education. Um, so with that being said, the, the things that we need to do to make sure that that happens is lots of strategic planning, uh, making sure that we are constantly looking at data, monitoring student progress over the course of the year, uh, making sure that our curriculum is uh, the right one for kids to be successful and making sure that that curriculum is aligned to state standards and being implemented the way that it's intended to be. Um, and I would say another big part of that role is making sure that we provide the professional learning to, uh, to instructional coaches, to uh, math teacher leaders, to uh, principals and, and all teachers to make sure that they are as effective as they can be and that we have a highly effective teacher in every classroom, a highly effective principal in every building. Since I've uh, joined the team here at Bradley County in July, um, really have been trying to uh, get into a routine, but um, there's uh, a lot of things that just come up day to day that, that you don't expect. Um, taking care of parents who have concerns, um, taking care of teachers who have um, unexpected needs, and, and principals as well. But essentially, um, at, at this time of the year, it really is about looking at data and using that data to, uh, to make strategic plans. So I've been looking at um, student test data from last year's uh, TN Ready administration to determine um, what's the type of professional learning that uh, teachers really need, what are the types of professional learnings that uh, principals need. Um, I plan monthly PLCs with principals around that data. In addition to that, um, I try to spend at least um, some time every day in one of our 11 elementary schools. Uh, that has been one of the most rewarding pieces of the job, uh, is to actually um, kind of be in the trenches with, uh, with teachers and principals in, in serving our kids. At heart, I uh, started my career as a teacher and, and still feel like a teacher very much. Um, so that is always kind of at the heart of um, what I do. Um, I've also served at uh, an educational nonprofit called the National Institute for Excellence in Teaching where I got to really travel across the country and support teachers and leaders um, with uh, planning effective instruction, planning effective professional learning communities for teachers, uh, a lot of instructional coaching. So I um, spent a few years in the, the nonprofit sector and then also spent uh, the last five years at the Tennessee Department of Education working in the uh, Teachers and Leaders Division on uh, educational effectiveness. Working for the national non nonprofit um, was a great learning experience for me. Uh, I got to really rub shoulders with some of the best educators in the country. Um, it was a growth opportunity for me and, and as much as I love that, uh, I feel like now here at Bradley County Schools I'm really able to apply a lot of the things that I'm learning um, in order to grow this district and, and this community. Um, so they're, they're very different in terms of comparing those two. One was um, really learning a lot from a national perspective and now I feel like I'm really getting to implement that. When I think about the comparison between this job and my role at the State Department, there really is quite a big difference. Uh, in that role, I was mainly responsible for um, developing policy around the teacher and leader evaluation system, um, ensuring that some of our state statutes were um, being implemented. You know, that was a, a job with the executive branch of government, which enforces the laws. Uh, and so that was a lot of what I did, was ensure that we were creating policy and structures and routines to help districts uh, to implement state, state law. Um, here in Bradley County, uh, I'm able to really see those, uh, those policies in action and really help uh, not just implement policy, but help folks be successful with those policies. My favorite part of my new job has got to be the, the time that I've been able to spend with kids. Um, for a, a, a long part of my career, since I left the classroom, I've really been absent from time with kids. And um, 
I've, I've learned a lot of names, I've seen a lot of faces, and um, I'm getting to really know uh, the children of Bradley County. Um, I think my favorite part has been walking in grocery stores in the afternoon or um, convenience stores and, and seeing children and knowing that I'm really serving them. Well, it is my first year in this role and I am looking forward to uh, all of the new experiences that um, I will encounter in this role. Um, I, I've already started to develop a really strong relationship with the um, staff here at the district office um, with the elementary principals and I'm really looking forward to um, more than anything finding ways that I can add value to the work that they do. Bradley County, growing students, building futures.